Hi guys, it's Claude from Canonarchy. Thanks for popping back to the channel. If you like what you're hearing on these um, posts, can you please hit the subscribe button? Let's keep um, traffic going to the website. This is always going to be free and I want to make sure that we get as much traction as possible so we can get the good information out to as many different people. Subject I want to talk to you today um, is car sickness and dogs. So before we go too much further in this, most people assume that there's a problem with the dog. So we start to medicate or we start to do things when at the end of the day, it may not be the dog at all. In certain situations, the dog might have a, a bad association with cars, but let's put that aside for the moment. And let's just deal with the potential of, of car sickness on its own as a separate subject. So many, many years ago when cars weren't quite as uh, technologically advanced as today, what we found is a lot of cars had poor electronic circuits. And with poor electronic circuits, there was usually poor earthing, or there were stray currents, or there was an excess of static electricity. And many people in those situations, let alone puppies, used to get car sick. So many cars in the olden days had a, a, a strap that used to come down from the underside of the car and it would touch the road, and that would actually earth the car if it had any stray currents. Modern day cars tend to not have problems anymore, but they still do. So before we start to look at potential um, issues that are with the puppy or the dog, how about we get the car checked out first? So most good auto electricians or your car dealership can actually do a very, very simple diagnostic to make sure that your car is keeping all the circuitry in the right place and there's no stray currents and the earthing's happening well. And you'll probably find that if your car isn't doing that really, really well, you may have a dog or even humans that aren't feeling particularly well with, with prolonged travel. So the first point of reference is get your car checked. If that isn't the case, then we need to look at potential options. And there are lots of different options for car sickness. Um, and there's your vet will prescribe a few of those and there's a lot of natural remedies that can actually help. But I don't want to talk about that today. I just want to mention the fact, just get your car checked. First starting point with regards to any behavior modification with a dog, before we start to do any behavioral work or medical work, let's look at potentially other contributing factors, exclude those first. Those would be the least invasive. If then that's not the cause, then let's go back and try and find the cause at the moment, but start with that. Okay, good little tip going forward. Guys, short and sweet. If you like what you hear, hit the subscribe. Thanks for popping back, guys. Talk to you soon.